In today's video for Dragon's Dogma 2, I'm going to be showing you how to get hold of a resource material that's absolutely perfect for upgrading some of your weapons, and that's going to be the Freakish Black Mane. Now, in order to get hold of this, I must admit I was a little bit further into the game, and I'd already completed the Feast of Deception, so I'm not sure if that's a prerequisite for this enemy to spawn. However, bear it in mind, but it's still worth visiting just in case it's not. Now, using the Border Watch outpost as a starting location, you're going to make your way just to the right of it, and through to this part just over here. Then you're going to need to scout this little cliff facing and just work your way across to the right hand side where there'll be a small bit where you can pass the little waterfall and eventually you're going to see a cave that you'll be able to make your way through. Now there's a few enemies in here and there's also a few chests and such that you may well want to check out but I'm just showing you the key location in order to get to the enemy we're after which is going to be this Gore Chimera. Honestly, these things can be an absolute nightmare, so make sure you're a little bit kitted out, got a bit of damage about yourself and a nice team in order to take them down, as they can both poison you and put you to sleep, which can be a complete pain sometimes. But I found this was probably the best place in the game to farm this, as every time I've been here, I've been able to grab this resource nice and easy, and it seems to spawn very often. What I tend to do, go in there, defeat it, then, whenever you want to, go straight back to the outpost, Rest for around about 7 days, which will be 28 sits on the bench outside the inn, and then just make your way back to the same location. Rinse and repeat as much as you want in order to farm this resource and whatever else you can get off of this enemy. But yeah, hopefully it's helped a few of you guys and girls out. There'll be a lot more content in the way from me. As always, Wolfins Gaming, take care. I'll see you on the next day.